What's going on? Brian here with A to Z Productions. Today I'm going to show you how I would set up my stream deck, how to program a few buttons, and also how to um, create a few macros in the ATEM software. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so you see here I already have a few buttons programmed. Normally, if I'm using the ATEM Mini, I wouldn't program these camera and cut functions because I can just switch on the ATEM Mini itself. Um, but if I had the HD Studio or another Blackmagic switcher, this is kind of how I would set it up. So I'll do another button here, camera two. So come down here, set input on preview, do camera two. And the reason I do preview is because I just think it's safer. I would rather, um, you know, it go to preview and me have to push cut, then that's just kind of how I like to work. Um, but obviously it's up to you if you prefer something different. So we'll go ahead and test that action. And right now my camera two is in my preview. So if I push cut, it will come into my program. This is my camera two camera right here. And we'll um, up here, you can see I have DVE Cam 1, DVE Cam 2, and what that's doing is that is setting my DVE, my DVE input to my different cameras, and that's being done with a macro. Um, right now, my DVE is what's making my picture-in-picture, picture, that little box at the bottom there. So I want to switch it to camera 3. I would never use it with this, but maybe if I were you know, showing you what was happening with uh, the Stream Deck while showing you the software at the same time. Let's go ahead and create that macro. Come up here to the menu, click Macros, make sure you're on Create, and we'll do DVE Cam 3. All right, and once you push Record here, every click that you make is going to affect your macro so you're going to want to make sure that you don't click anything that would affect something that you're not trying to affect in this case we're only trying to affect the dve input and we're trying to set that to camera three so that's all we have to do stop recording cool we can test that We'll switch it back to cam one. Now, boom, and it works. So now we can come over here, create that button, click on our button, regular button, DVE cam three. Come down here, ATEM, and we're gonna look for ATEM run macro, and it is Macro number six, I believe. Go ahead and test that action. Yep. All right. So that button is done. Now, down, the reason that I have them set up in this way, where kind of click these to switch. So these buttons up here don't actually affect anything in my program feed. All they're doing is adding, switching the input of my DVE. So to bring my DVE up, I'll have to push this button, which brings up into my preview. And then if I'm still on camera three or camera two, I can cut and that'll bring it in. So then we're switching. So we're doing everything with kind of as few buttons, trying to just make it as simple as possible. And to turn that off, push the off button, or you can create a button for that. I don't really see the need to. Um, these other buttons here, these are done with the DVE as well. So while that's live, this is going to basically give me a zoomed in shot of my front camera or whatever camera I choose it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. This is 1.5x zoom. So if I cut back to my regular camera angle, you can see that this is much more zoomed in. If 
that's a little hack. I'll show you how to do it. But even with that selected, let me go ahead and let's switch that to camera two. So now you're zoomed in on camera two, right? And I can do the same thing with camera three. It's just zoomed in on my camera, on my computer screen. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make one of those. All right, so we're gonna come back to our computer screen. Let's turn our PMP cam one. And we're gonna make another macro. Come over here. Let's uh, let's actually, I want my macro to be, let's kind of like center it around this one so I can, all right, so let's go ahead and create another macro. Um, we can just call this zoom. We'll, we'll name it after we do it. Um, so what we're gonna do is kind of just bring this up. You can see that we can keep zooming and we can zoom past 100%. These are at zero. We ought to see that. You can see me zoom past 100%. Let's say I wanna make one that's more just centered on this stream or on the ATEM Mini here. Move it up. Can zoom in in even more. Let's just let's actually do one right on the stream deck. Okay, now I'm gonna stop recording. So I can turn that off. Okay, so boom, I can easily cut between those two. And it is being shot on the same camera. All right, so now that we have the macro built and because we all we affected was the zoom, I'll run it and it'll zoom close on my face here, but it'll work for any of our cameras right it doesn't switch the camera so now that's a zoomed in shot of me and i can with the buttons i have up here i can easily switch between my three cameras all right so let's go ahead and make our button for that so button type regular button uh what do we call it zoom um Come here, ATEM run macro. I believe that was macro seven. Test action. Yep. Cool. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.